Guys, what's up? Today, I just want to talk about some new updates in ChatGPT that we've gotten. I'm not sure if you've gotten it yet, but hopefully they're coming soon. So first of all, we have the new UI here. So if you have a look at it, the sidebar is much more differentiated. We have nice border radiuses going on. You can close the sidebar as well. I really like, like this effect. So I mean, they're definitely investing in the product on the UI side as well. But now coming to more important matters, the technical side of things. Now what you can do is previously you used to have plugins and when you go to when to plugins, you can only enable just one plugin at the same time. And that particular chat used to be restricted with just one plugin. Now you basically can enable multiple plugins on the same chat and basically start talking to them. Now, one other thing that I personally feel like people are going to miss is because I missed it too is now in chat GPT-4, you have DALI browsing and analysis all together. So previously, just like plugins, you either go went with DALI or you either went with browsing or analysis or something along those lines. I'm not even sure about analysis, but now you can have a single chat that basically does everything for this particular thing. So if you wanna have an image, it's gonna do that. If you just wanna do browsing, it's gonna do that as well. So basically you have all of these things combined. Isn't that freaking amazing? And then obviously the moment we've all been waiting for, we have the explore space where you can explore some of the bots made by ChatGPT themselves. And I mean, you can definitely interact with them or more importantly, you can create your own GPT. So now if you actually just go here, you can decide and it's gonna ask you, what do you actually wanna make? How it's gonna look? It's gonna have a preview on the right as well. And then if you go to configuration, you can enter an image, a name, a description, instructions, conversation starters, and you can start uploading things basically. So you can just click here and just start uploading anything that you actually want. And it has certain capabilities as well based on the knowledge that you're gonna provide. So code interpreter, DALI image generation, and web browsing, isn't that amazing? And then if you actually go to certain actions, what these actions are actually going to allow you to do, they're gonna allow you to communicate to the outside world, to your APIs, to anything that you basically want to retrieve when a person actually does some actions and it's gonna allow you to do that. Isn't that amazing? So you can basically start building stuff customly tailored for you or your audience. Particularly if you have a large audience, you can actually download your videos, notes, blogs, whatever it is, and then basically have a version of yourself hosted online and then probably just have that vetted by your community members as well. That's hopefully gonna help you reduce a lot of workload for you and it's also actually going to market you because obviously you're gonna have a face and people can actually talk to you directly on chat GPT. So that's pretty much it. I mean, this is amazing. Do subscribe, do hit the bell icon for any new updates on chat GPT, design or front end or freelancing and I'll see you there.